holidays everyone we are rounding out the year my wardrobe is starting to reflect that i am starting to be drawn to you know all those fall colors definitely long sleeves i've made uh a couple pairs of pants um pulling out the sweater knits and all of that great stuff um to make you feel warm and cozy for as we transition into winter um so if you saw my plans video for this month this month's plans um i definitely did make some of that but i also just went rogue i i don't know if it was because of the holiday um it was thanksgiving here in america or what but i just was feeling inspired to make something that I hadn't planned for, which happens and the plans are really just kind of like a guideline. So let me show you everything that I made. It's kind of a lot. Uh, it includes what I'm wearing, but I'm going to save that to the end <laughs> because I know you guys love when I do that. Okay, first things first, you guys have uh, heard of this little project that I was working on that actually includes four patterns. It's my athleisure little capsule wardrobe. So I'm um, going to try and go through everything one by one. Obviously, you guys are going to see all of these things on me. I just have not filmed the modeling video yet. Coming soon, though. Um, okay, so first things first, we have the leggings. These are the five out of four Ninja leg leggings free pattern. And you guys, I was about to say worth every penny, but it doesn't cost you anything. So it, it's a really, really good pattern. Um, it includes multiple height uh, rises. Um, it has a gusset and I just feel like right out of the gate, they fit really, really well. This fabric that I used is an athletic knit. Um, I got it in New York City from Spandex House. It's really pretty. I'm going to show you. Um, well, I guess I'll just do it now. Um, I also made a matching sports bra. How cute is this? This is the five out of four agility top. Now that is a top and a dress. You can also make the bra portion of it all by itself. So that's what that is here. I am beyond proud of the binding that I did. Most of that was because of the incredible drafting and instructions provided by the pattern company, but I did line it. I put athletic mesh in there. I can add cups if I want. I mean, this is just as good as anything you would get in the store. Um, I'll talk about this a lot more in the modeling video, but the only thing I would change is you really only get two back options. So I might see about redrafting these and combining them because right now there's a seam there, which is fine. That's fine. But I want to see if I can make, you know, the traditional one piece back. It won't make it any harder or easier to sew or anything. It's just a design feature. And I'd love to be able to just have one sports bra. I don't wear them that often. Um, one sports bra pattern that I can just make a bunch of different ways. So this is part one of the little capsule oh geez this is hard capsule wardrobe the um, leggings come up pretty high and I did extend the bra a little bit so there's only like an inch or two of belly showing which is good because I also made this cardigan to go over that um it is beautiful it is it's got a very interesting um draft hack I guess to get the beautiful drape in the back. Look how stunning that turned out. And then I did end up adding the hood because I had enough fabric to do it. And I just think that the hood drape and then this drape, oh, it's just so, so pretty. And the way that you achieve this is not how you think. It, I was like, wait, they want me to do what? And then I was like, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> so I love that I still have moments like that in the sewing room. Um, so yeah, it's just a little front, uh, open front cardigan, nothing fancy in the front. Uh, the pattern is 7441. I made, I guess I made view B without the pockets. View B without the pockets. McCall 7441. Love this guy. It's been getting worn on its own, obviously, in addition to my little, um, athleisure situation. But I also, um, if I wanted to be a little bit more covered up, I made McCall's 7020. I made the shortest one, View A, 
which actually isn't that short at all. It looks really cropped, but it's not. Um, this is it here. This is the front. And again, this fabric, this um, cotton jersey, I got it forever ago. A ton of yardage. It must have been like one of those, oh gosh, like a uh, fashion fabric club things where you just get five yards of it for like one discounted price um, because I had so, so much of it. But look how pretty that little drape is of the neckline. You've got your little straight hem and then the long sleeves. So all of those things are meant to be worn together. I do have a version of the agility top with the bra and the top attached. I just kind of got a little bit burnt out <laughs> um, in sewing these things. So I will be able to get to that soon um, and have my completed kind of athleisure capsule wardrobe. But um, stay tuned for the video on that because I discovered a lot of really fun tips and tricks with the thread that I use, the needles, and um, just some little sewing hacks that made um, putting all that together really fun. I did a different stitch on my serger for the pants. So some really, really cool stuff. Okay, next up, you guys saw these already. This is the Golden Rule uh, muslin that I made of their little pajama pants. And I'm sorry they're so wrinkled. This rayon just does not stand a chance against the wrinkles. Um, and you guys saw these on, you saw them modeled. Yes, I know I'm with you guys. I know that there's an issue in the front crotch. I'm not blind, but I wanted to show you the muslin, not the one that I made all the alterations to so that you could see right out of the gate using that system, what kind of results you would get. So thank you for all of you that pointed out the issue in the crotch. I'm going to fix it on the actual pair that I make. Um, but these are them. They're still totally wearable. I could probably even hack it to fix that problem. Um, but we'll see. For right now, they're just cute laying around the house. You can go get the mail in them and if you have to run a quick errand, you know, you're not embarrassed. They're not actual pajamas, but they kind of are. There's the fabric's not. <laughs> so that's wearable pajamas at its finest. Okay, so next up, I'm about to reveal a big secret. And I don't want to jinx it. I don't think at this point I can jinx it. But I am going to be on TV. I am going to be on a television show that all of you have access to. Um, I will tell you more, but I needed to make some garments that would be okay for television. And if you've ever been on TV before or know anyone that has, they don't like prints, they don't like certain colors, like you need to just have something solid and um, sort of like a bold color that doesn't wash you out. So I went for McCall's 7359 and I made the U it's kind of like a combination of a whole bunch of them, but I think it's view D with the shoulder gathers from A, but the collar and everything from D. And this is how she came out. So it's a little hanging, a little funky on the, on the hanger. I promise you it looks better on me. Um, <laughs> but I just love the color so, so much. They also asked that I wear something that covers at least the top portion of my arm. Um, they said it was more flattering. I don't know that I believe that, nor do I really subscribe to the idea of flattering. Whatever I feel good in is flattering, you know what I mean? Anyways, um, but I wanted to follow the rules because I am a rule follower to a fault. Um, but yeah, this is it. I think she turned out really, really cute. Um, like I said, looks a little bit better on this neckline looks really, really low in person, but or on the hanger, but it's not. And then here's the back. And it's out of this really beautiful stash fabric. No idea where I got it. I don't even know what it's made from. But it's like a heavier weight rayon. Um, it's not a rayon poplin, none of that. I don't know if it's a blend of like silk or something. I have no idea what it is. It was just in my stash and I had just enough um, to make this little top. So I'm excited about that. Um, okay, so the next two things that I made I'm wearing today. And I am obsessed, obsessed with this sweater. You guys, this is a relatively new pattern. I'm sure it's still available. Go get this. 
8950. I think simplicity patterns are 99 cents still, maybe. Um, but this is a good, good, good little pattern. I made view D with the length of B. Um, so view D has a shorter hemline, but I said screw that and I just made the longer hemline because you can technically adjust it. So this whole center front situation, oh gosh, you guys can't see. I'll explain this more in the modeling video, but um, the there is twill tape or there's ribbon in here and then you can adjust. You can just smoosh this up to make this portion higher um, and then the rest of it just kind of falls down wherever it falls. And then I was super proud of myself because I found these little ribbon ends. Okay, now I know these are for jewelry because they have the little hole on the end for you to put your jump ring. Um, but I don't think from far away you can really see that. And it adds just such a beautiful like little decorative like blingy bling situation at the bottom. I love that so much. And then the pants are actually... I mean, I didn't buy this pattern for the pants at all. I bought it for the dress, but the pants aren't that bad. Okay, so this is uh, Simplicity 8425. The dress is super cute, right? Um, but I actually didn't, I don't have a lot of elasticated pants patterns. And so it was between this and another one. And I decided to go with this because of the pockets and made a muslin. Um, had a mini breakthrough, actually pretty major breakthrough with my pants fitting journey. We are so close, you guys. We are so, so close. At, at least with the trouser, um, you know, looser fitting trouser style pant. Um, so I made the muslin. The muslin turned out good, but I decided I don't like elastic in the front that's just not flattering on me it's too much bulk i already have like a belly protrusion issue right now because of all the inflammation with my poor sick intestines um so i don't need anything else there so what i ended up is just making it a flat front and then instead of taking in the pattern or doing anything to the pattern pieces i just added these little inverted box pleats to take in the fullness from the front and then the back is still elasticated so um, again, I'll show you that a lot more um, in the modeling video and talk to you about the process of it. But, you know, I just took one pattern that I was able to fit um, pretty well and then just kind of hacked it a little bit to get the look that I want. But that those are the clothes that I made this month. I've also been very busy working on the DIY gifts that I am going to be posting this month. So if you don't follow me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, I'm at Inside the Hem everywhere. Um, I have been sharing since Black Friday a, um, a DIY gift suggestion that links to a tutorial that I have already done on the channel in the past. And I'm going to be posting one of those every single day until Christmas Eve. And as we get closer to Christmas Eve, the projects get a little bit easier and less time consuming because you have less time. Um, so in order to fill up all those days, I didn't have enough tutorials for that. So I ended up coming up with some really new and exciting ones. Um, so I've been busy working on that too. I'm not going to show you them today though, because it will kind of just ruin them, but they are really good. One of them in particular, I have used so many times myself and I, it's one of those things where I was like, if I could mass produce this, I would sell a million of them, but I'm just not going to mass produce anything. <laughs> um, it's really, really good. You guys are going to want to make one for everyone. Um, but that is everything I made in November. It's been a fun, busy month. Quarantine still proving to give me plenty of time in my sewing space to experiment and try new things and uh, make some really great clothes. So I will talk to you guys very soon. I will have lots more information about the TV segment and all, where it's going to be and all of that very, very soon. Um, it should be fun. I'm excited about it. But that is going to do it for me today. I will see you all so soon. Bye.